Welcome back to the Line Out Lab. My name is Peter O'Donnell. This is part three in a series where I look at attacking options from lineouts. Previously, I've looked at options where there's been no tail gunner or we've attacked the last man in the lineout. In this video, I'm going to focus on attacking the seam, which is the space between the tail gunner and the first defender back from the lineout. As always, if you're new to the channel, please click that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen where you get access to loads of additional content from me. If you like these videos and you want to get more regular in-depth content analysis and discussion, I have recently set up a Patreon page, which you can access here, and I'll put the link in the description. Thanks for your support. Okay, let's get into it. So one can attack the seam space either inside, which will be similar to some of the options I've shown before, or you can attack outside um, the seam to create that disconnect between him and the first defender, as I say. This illustrates the space we're looking at when there is no tail gunner. Likewise, it's similar enough when there is a tail gunner. So how do we exploit that space? There's various different ways you can go about it. One team who actually did it quite well recently was Scotland during the Six Nations with this nice transfer and peel um, off the top or down a pop play. Um, we can see how Nine attracts the tail gunner and plays a nice ball, which enables him to get in behind and get on the front foot. They actually ran the same play a week later um, with a little bit of a variation. So I'm not really getting into the scene, but they manipulated or animated as if they were trying to, to get into the same space. As a coach, what I like about these options is that it's done from ball one at the front of the lineup. And in both examples, nine has taken the tail gunner out, which is a difficult enough thing to do at any stage. So good, good variations. Thanks for watching. 